Hello guys, so I am uh, accidentally having my share host instant and then instantly deleted. So uh, I need to set it up again and I think it's a very good time for me to uh, uh, recording the video on how like we can set up like from scratch for the beginner uh, the share hosting so uh, any instance uh, f from like nothing right from scratch so uh, like I'm going to deploy using the uh, uh, VM the host uh, from AWS I will create an EC2 instance that under uh, free tier and like uh, uh, I will follow follow the documents official document from any end document uh, using the Docker Compose to deploy the uh, share host like NAN is my NAN instance and I'm using uh, GoDaddy uh, to manage my uh, DNS uh, record. So yeah, let's uh, get start. So if you are trying to build uh, the NAN instance for your own like for learning purpose, uh, you want to become a verified uh, NAN creator just like me and other uh, the other folks. Uh, you just want to like research, right? So check it out. So first thing, uh, we need to go to the uh, uh, AWS control. Like I'm using uh, AWS, but like any hosting provider should work, right? So you can use like uh, Digital Ocean, <coughs> Azure, Google Cloud, or any any provider. Line not or something should work too. So first, I'm going to allocate a uh, yeah. IP uh, v4 public IP v4 okay so we already have the public IP v4 for the our server so let's launch a new instance let's name it like auto me with uh, me uh, NAN okay and then using Amazon Linux should be good enough uh, okay and the free tier t3 micro uh, uh, 2v CPU and 1 git of memory should be to good enough okay uh, using my own uh, key and then like, I, I think I have some uh, yep I think it should uh, work and then let use like 20 20 gif of play like, memory for GP2 so we, we don't need a very fast uh, like uh, storage uh, devices so yeah 20 gif of play like, GP2 uh, to be good enough okay i think good with the name amazon Linux. uh easy to instant type a 3 3 micro and then we have uh, allow the uh, okay i think uh, everything looks good and then launch a, an instant okay so let's wait for a second and then uh we are good to go right okay then i'm i'm having my instant ready so yeah now next step let's connect to it and then see if like, we can use like easy to instant connect to uh, connect to it okay uh yeah not okay let me... yeah we are um having the root access to the server and then uh from it yep yeah, i'm uh, going to have a look at the document right so uh first we need to run it on a Linux server using the docker compose so you we need to have the uh, docker and docker compose installed right so uh, uh first we need to have the docker and docker compose installed so i'm going to ask my chat gpt so hey uh can you give me the comment right to install docker and docker uh, compose sorry uh, compose in amazon linux 2023 okay then yeah the model uh, for okay so Okay, so let, let's start with a uh, this one, right? Okay, and then install to Docker. Okay, we have uh, 
esto lo que good and then by uh, start and enable the docker services okay one let's wait for a while and we are good to go okay 11 uh, to 11 so i think yeah we're good let's see if we okay then we are good and we have more this one on, on top okay complete and then next uh, we need to check docker version by docker version okay good to go with docker and then we need docker compose right uh, before that we need to ask the uh, uh, sudo admin okay and then we uh, go with docker compose uh, check the versions and it's not uh, available yet right so we need to just install it okay good and then docker compose version okay docker compose version right so we have docker and docker compose uh, up and run already so anything uh, that we need nope that's it so perfect right next step we uh, we already have this one yeah so we need to set up our dns like uh, add an a record to our public ip address okay so let's see i'm having my dns here and then my a record so i'm i'm using uh godaddy but like it's, it should be the same for every uh, other like name chief or whatever uh, raw 53 anything right so and i'm copying my uh, public ip address from the instant here right And then put it in the uh, okay and i think uh i need to verify so uh, okay extra layer of security is all the way good right uh one second so a77 and a five okay Okay, so we are good to go with DNS and next, right? Uh, Docker Compose, uh, go back to the EC2 instant connect, right? So clear and just in. So we are in the Docker Compose folder and then uh, we have the ENV, right? Fetch uh, of the ENV, okay? And I'm using Vim, so if you are familiar with other, uh, you should be able to to use that. I'm, I'm moving up with here, so uh, we have the environment file, right? And then, uh, uh, right, okay, copy to clipboard, and then back here, okay. And then we have domain names, the top level, right? So uh, script to insert more, and then we have okay automate with dot me right and then subdomain so name a generic time zone uh i'm not sure ssl email right so uh create at automate with me well uh temporary i can use like generic time zone but i'm, I'm not sure what exactly for a zero so yeah, just just do it, okay. Uh, right click, okay. Let. Okay, we we are good with the the env and then, uh, then local file, okay. Get uh ls. Okay, so we have local file here and then, docker compose. So, perfect. Uh. Yep, Docker Compose. So uh, 
Just the Docker Compose demo. Okay. Okay. So we have defined here. So everything should be good. Okay. And then see what next. Right. So the Docker combo up. Okay. And then Docker compose up. Right. And then waiting for it to pulling the uh, container image and start running uh, on the uh, container inside that uh, docker compose way so waiting and then i think that's uh, nan doing a pretty good job so it very pretty much straightforward for anyone to follow the documentations and like ha having the uh, uh, so host instant up and run uh, locally or within with a very uh, chief hosting system. So uh, I'm not sure about the pricing for the T3 micro on AWS in the uh, Southeast Asia uh, Singapore region, but like it's kept like five dollars a month, something like that. So yeah, if you want to uh, learn about any answer, it's a good investment rate. Uh, you can uh, run it uh, for you to study or for working purposes or to showcase some solution for your with your client that should be good right uh, there's some alternative solution I think it can be like three dollars or even two dollars a month for the uh, minimal hosting solution but like yep uh, in this case I'm using AWS because like, I'm familiar with it and and is I am able to afford that okay so uh, we can see some update here, including like we have like only um, uh, Docker container. Uh, I mean, like up and pulling download complete. Uh, we have the traffic, right? Traffic for routing. So uh, it's gonna take a little while uh, before we can start. So. Uh, I'm not sure how you're running your cell host instance or like if you are using the same solution please let me know or you you else have some different way of like running the cell host instance uh, so please comment in in this video and let me know so that uh, I, I should it should be like pretty much uh, good for other people to watch the video and, and learn uh, from this command as well so I'm, I'm trying this solution before and I think it's uh, good enough for um, us to uh, exper experimenting uh, any end I have like uh, 30 or more that workflow uh, in my uh, previous uh, instance and it's running smoothly so that there should be no problem with that and I think uh, it's good here great so Docker. okay so we have uh, everything up and run and then lay like, uh, I'm gonna check if lay like, uh, me okay see Okay, and then uh, mm, because like we have turned on the protection, I'm using just that. Okay, okay, I think it's problem with uh, uh, any end. Okay, so I am having creator with myself. And then I'm using the like, using strong password. And we want okay. Okay, let's say software is like business honor. Uh, my team, how you commonly let them twenty and yep, like friends. Yeah. Get started. Send me a free uh, license key, okay? So don't, don't mm, to be much worry about this in one way. It's uh, uh, something with the certificates, SSL certificates, like, like it's gonna disappear uh, after a while, I believe. Yeah, if I remember correctly, is. Uh, 
Okay, then I, I need to check my email for for the uh, as like uh, license license. So let I'm gonna check. Okay, unlock. Wait. So I we need to go to the setting and then enter the activation key that uh, we got in the mailbox. Okay. So I think that we are good to go, right? So we are in the free tier uh, community. And then, yeah, so it's like pretty much straightforward, right? So I'm working you guys through the process to create the uh, EC2 instance using uh, on AWS console. And then we uh, uh, update the DNS uh, on uh, GoDaddy. And then like we um, follow some command to uh, create the self-hosted instance with NANs. Yeah, and then we have the uh, our own NAN console. So again, don't too much worry about like this one. So it's doesn't impact anything. Uh, and then yeah, let's try to create a, your first flow. Okay, something like trigger, right? Nano trigger, and then we're gonna we is will call the AI agent. No, let's do something code right. So say just return. Let's execute. Okay, so you have your first workflow running. Uh, it's gonna be a, a control and hello world or something like that. Hello, auto me with me running. Okay, and then see, uh, you can see the lock here. Yep. So something like that. I'm not sure where where the my console log go, but like yeah, uh, pretty much uh, straightforward. We we have everything right, and then we running our first uh, workflow right. It's not a very cool uh, demo, but like is how how it works. So uh, yeah, like I have a lot of like different uh, NAN workflow. For example, if you search for my NAN, okay. So I public a lot of like. Uh, and then workflow here for free, right? Twenty nine, uh, so far, and then like you can see that uh, is uh, encompass different uh, domain. So mm, I have like the workflow for the uh, cell team for the human resource, uh, talent acquisitions, ID support, and like even like marketing with the uh, YouTube something like that. So check it out, and then uh, don't forget to follow my channel here. Okay uh don't forget to follow my channel okay uh then thank you very much and have a very good day so uh, i wait to see you again in the next video thank you and goodbye